folks, today we're going to Hickory Canyons. I think it's a state natural area or not something natural area. I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't think it's a state park or a conservation area. I think it's a designated as a state natural area. Here we are, right? We're already here at the parking lot for it. Uh, this is in St. Genevieve County, and, and the funny thing is I grew up here my whole life and never knew about this place, and it was always right here, just one of them places that's not really advertised. You don't hear about it in magazines, or or it's not really on signs or advertised in any way. So, or it's uh, supposed to be a waterfall and some hiking trails, so we're going to see what this place is about. It was already in the area and just wanted to kill a little time, and so we're going to... See what it is. Wait a minute, I wanna pick up. Oh, okay. says here there's a one mile trail and I believe there's some a waterfall here if I the only reason I discovered this place was from coming across to someone that put a video of it on YouTube it was on the side of my screen uh, because I was researching Missouri waterfalls and somehow came across it and it said St. Genevieve which is where I lived from the age of 5 to 16 and I said, well, my gosh, I used to stay a mile down the road. I have a friend named Brandon. I used to, uh, his dad used to live out here, and he'd come stay on the weekends. And when I was a young child from, you know, from the age of 8 to 14 or 15, I'd stay out here, stay the night with his dad, you know, his children. So, just weird, them things you never learn about, you know, that are always near your home, and you have no clue they're even there. Here it says, Hickory Canyons Loop Trail, dedicated to the memory of Alan Brown, 1920 to 2010, mid 90 Alan was instrumental in founding Missouri's natural area system. From 1970, he helped guide this program for many years. His leadership greatly benefited the resources and people of Missouri. LAD Foundation, Missouri Conservation Commission, October 2010. Well, that could be explained why I didn't know about it as a kid, so this is only seven years old. All right, here it says, Welcome to Hickory Canyon's hiking trails. Help protect this area for future generations. Caution, steep bluffs, slippery rocks, wet creek crossings. Moderately difficult. Hikers must stay on trail. Pets on lease only. No bikes or motor vehicles. No fires, no hunting. Area closed to 10, from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. I think I may want to go back and get my fishing shoes on. All right, folks, I'm going to go back and get my fishing shoes so I don't get accidentally get my uh, these shoes wet, especially since there is a waterfall. I might actually want to kind of play around in it. It's okay. No, it's walking. Oh, that's okay. You won't get dirty. All right, I guess for now we're going to walk this mile, one mile trail. I don't know if it loops around.
they went this way so I'm guessing well let's look at the map here okay it is a loop it's a we're okay here we are yeah it doesn't matter which way we go if we go that way we get to the bluffs sooner it doesn't matter you want to go that way or this way we'll just go the way they went yeah favorite bird, buzzard. <laughs> You're a buzzard. Her favorite bird is a buzzard, folks. She said she wants one as a pet. I'm just picking on her. No, she likes the uh, bald eagles, her favorite bird, I think. It's a waterfall, yeah. Uh huh. I think I can hear it. Yeah, I hear it. It's not a big creek or anything. It's just a tiny creek that goes into the establishment eventually there at Bloomsdale. This is sand right here. This is sand, mm -hmm. not regular dirt. Yeah. And then these are granite rocks, or at least partially granite. Very common rock around here. Pretty cool. Maybe somebody put the sun. Huh? Ask for better weather today, folks. No humidity anymore. October is definitely my favorite month. Uh, the leaves are all turning and they're very pretty in certain parts of the country, depending on what kind of trees they have. Some of them are red and some of them just quite ain't yet. Uh, got a nice, perfect, you know, seven, eight mile an hour breeze going. So I'm not even breaking a sweat. And, uh, it's late enough in the year we don't have to deal with spider webs and bugs really. They're most, for the most part they're gone because of the cold nights. Oh wow, this is kind of steep. I didn't know we'd be going down this much. I want to go this way. A lot of huge granite formations similar to that. Typical over there by Elephant Rocks. Oh, I think I have to go that Well, let's see here. What? I guess they were. Oh my gosh. I don't know where we're supposed to go here. Do you? Where are we supposed to be going? I don't really see the trail. Okay, yeah, I see it. It's possible somebody was sleeping under this little bluff here there's two pillows underneath it my goodness maybe they were drunk 
that rock. Isn't that it? Yeah. We just found a weird thing attached to this tree. A fungus. It's huge. It's like the size of a basketball. It is huge. Try not to... There's a spider on there. It's a huge white fungus ball attached to the trunk of this tree. Absolutely huge. Huh. Watch for lizards too. You should should be able to discover some lizards. Turtles. Kind of wish I had binoculars because probably get some good bird down here too. You wish you wouldn't wore sandals now, huh? Pretty neat place. I like it. I see some water coming out of that canyon over there. I don't hear it, but I can see the rock is real wet. So just a little bit of water comes out of that. You tell because there's a little gully going down. See if you look at that rock up there, it's real. No, it was just the way I was looking at it. I was looking at it wrong. No, it's not wet. Huh? One mile long, yeah. Actually, it, it's even though it's just one mile, it's going to seem like ten because we're going it's so rugged. Like I mentioned earlier, folks, the leaves are a perfect red right now. First week of October. It is actually today is Wednesday. It's the fourth of October right now. The fourth. We've had a dry spell, two months, no rain. I was always told growing up that the leaves ain't as pretty when it don't rain for a long time. But I don't know if that's true or not. Look at that neat fern growing off the rock. Mm -hmm. Really long fern. It looks like something you'd buy in the store. Now we're starting to go up again.
Yeah, it's just like a little canyon. It's not a cave. It's got a trail going up. Yeah, we can go look. It ain't far. It might go back in there a little ways. You never know. Oh, this is rugged. Need hiking boots for this. Yeah. Some people walk all the way to the top is what it is. Yeah, go back down. I'm stuck. That made me warm now. I wasn't sweating at all until I went up that hill. I zoomed just a little bit to get a little closer view. Not bad, just 1.2. I don't hear the water. I swore I heard it earlier, but maybe we didn't. Could have just been the wind. There's a little bridge down here, I think. No, that's just a big rock. There is a little tiny bit of water in this creek right here got to be coming from somewhere looking for salamanders or something anything I don't know lots of ferns growing all along that galley Another, <laughs> yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, that's, oh, the, I'm filming it. Oh, yeah, on the ground, too. Yeah, I see it. Uh-huh. It's a different kind than the one earlier. Same color, though. There's a little creek. Probably got a lot of crawdads in it. Oh, I seen a, yeah, I seen a bunch of minnows too. Probably creek chubs or shiners, bleeding shiners, darters. Yep, yep, they're shiners, bleeding shiners. I was right. That's usually. Typical of this area in the streams. It'd be good bait. No. Uh -uh. They're shiners. Uh, the odds are slim a bass would be up in the. I don't see what you're even talking about. All I see is ble uh, bleeding shiner.
Ugh. Where's the waterfall? The video showed a pretty decent sized waterfall. I don't even hear it. It's on the video, I see. Enough coming down where you can stand under it and get wet if you want to take a shower type thing. I'm thinking about doing it. Taking my shirt off and just standing under it. Of course, you'd have to wear the camera. It's full of fish too. It's amazing how a creek one inch deep, just a little hole with no water in between them, can, how they can survive and not burn up during the heat of summer. It's just shaded enough that they don't, water stays cool enough. Yeah, it's real damp down here. See, it's even muddy right here. Of course, it may have rained a little bit here yesterday. That guy at the hotel said it rained in certain spots for a minute or two. Shiners again. Well, this has got to be coming from that waterfall. I think I hear something. Why'd you bring your purse? Was you hoping there was a concession stand down here to buy something? Like someone down here selling sodas? That's a pretty big hole there. I bet I'm gonna go down and look. Yeah. A what? Yeah, I'm gonna go down and look at it. That's a couple. That's about six inches deep here. It'll hold. That'll have some crawdads and everything in it. Ouch! Thorns. Ooh. Oh, there's ton. There's hundreds of minnows. Hundreds. They're going all over the place trying to get away from me. They ain't got no way to get out. Water's really cold. That one's about a foot deep.
Uh, not in that one. I'm sure there is, you just don't see him. I don't understand. They're supposed to be. That's full of minnows too. Sandy again. <sighs> We're starting to go back up, so I guess we there is no waterfall. At least they don't take you to it or something. would have heard it by now. I'll have to get on my phone and see what the deal is when we get back. Something ain't right. I think that's where we started right there, isn't it? A little deck. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't think it's been a mile yet. Yeah, but I don't know. This looks like the most used way.
It don't matter. I think they both go to the same place. I think we're getting to the main canyon now. It goes quite a ways back in here. Really neat. It goes about 10, 10 to 12 feet in. Uh, the video we seen it showed a big waterfall. Do you know? Is this? <laughs> huh? We went down to the bottom. And huh. There was no waterfall. Yeah. It, uh, maybe it's just at certain times of the year. Yeah, because it's dry right now. Oh, uh, okay. This is where it was. I can tell by looking now, I think. Yeah, I think we just missed it. Oh, boy. Oh, well. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's really neat. Yeah. So we walked down to the bottom and a little bit of water. Yeah. Nothing. I started we noticing, I said, I don't hear, we would have heard a waterfall by now. <laughs> I, think we're, I think we're in the wrong season for the it's, waterfall. It's the wrong time for the waterfall. It usually comes out of here. Because this is where the guy was standing under it in the video. Oh well. Next spring. Yeah, it's only, we have to come at the spring for, for the water. So you can actually get down to this? Or? I can't promise you that. We came up, we came up this hill. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's what we did. The trail went down and looped around. There's a trail going down to it there, but I don't know how to... I'm like sure. There's probably a way, but that'll wear me out. I wasn't hot. I was just saying how nice it was and how I wasn't sweating, but I changed my mind real quick after about half... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's where the waterfall normally is down here. <laughs> no water. Uh -uh. <clears throat> Usually falls out of that middle there, I think. Somewhere in it. Just has to be the right time of year. Dry. It's too dry. That's really neat, regardless. I would have stood underneath the thing, took a free shower. about I'd say 40 40 to 50 feet up in the air quite a ways up and if you'd be on the very top here it'd be about 50 60 feet up 70 maybe I guess we go up the stairs here We'll have to try it again in the spring. When there's water actually coming out, it would be really nice to go all the way down. You can get down to it from right here. <coughs> See, there's a little trail that goes down. You want to go down? <coughs> it's really not that steep. I'm gonna do it, might as well, we're here. Might as well take full advantage. I'm at least going part way down where I get a better view of it. You get a lot better camera angle down here. 
instead of pointing down. What the ladies explained to me was the waterfall is only present at certain times of the year. And it usually comes out of the middle of the cliff, I believe, right there where that big crack is. And it pours down. Uh, the video I seen was someone standing under it and playing in it. Unfortunately, it's just too dry right now for it to... I didn't know it was only at certain times of the year, so it was just a trial and error thing. Still, regardless, it's a really neat place. Wow. When you get down in here, you can feel the actual temperature go down about five to six degrees cooler down in here. Almost like you're in a cave, but not quite. But it is a lot cooler down here compared to up on top of the cliff. Partially because the sun ain't hitting you, but you can feel the, the cooler air coming off the rocks as well. It's amazing how these trees can actually get rooted when there's nothing but rocks everywhere. Where their roots are going, how they survive. You can see this tree here swinging really bad. I bet it don't have a very good root system. It's just real tall and slender. It had to grow real tall and slim just to be able to get sunshine. It don't have hardly any branches all the way down. Because it don't get enough sun because the sun is blocked almost all the day. And it's same with this tree, it has no branches, except at the very top, all of them. I guess they just do the best they can. I'm trying to find some salamanders or something, some unique kind of insect or reptile animal. I haven't really found anything yet, I'm keeping my eyes peeled though. Pretty cool. I like these ferns that grow around in this area. Really neat. Huh? Well, hold on here. I'll, I'll turn the camera off and you can take a regular picture of me. Small size. See? Okay, okay, I'll I'll really zoom nice. in. Let me redo it. <clears throat> I want to zoom in and do it right. I was trying to get the do stuff like in the that. background. You want me to zoom in more? Okay. Okay, now I'll go on that side of the... <sighs> Hold on. Just stand right here. You kind of want to stand right. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, stand right there. It's hard to get a view of that in the background. Yeah, you're not quite in the way of the... Okay. Oh yeah, thank you. Let me take my camera off my head, that way I don't... <laughs> That's way, that's about 50 feet, 60 feet. Yeah, it's quite a ways, or at least 40, 50. If 
Really neat. Bye. Well, just the waterfall was a little disappointing other than that was nice. Mm -hmm. I, I, wonder, I wonder why it's like that. It just it's gotta gotta have a lot of rain for it to come out, I guess. I guess probably if I would have read up on it and researched it, I would have learned. I don't remember it saying anything about that though. I just figured it'd be something different to do. I know you get tired of fishing all day, every day. Decided to do something different. It wasn't far. And if we got time, we can go ahead and go go to a car wash and get lunch. Yeah, it's starting to feel like a mile.
I think I see the road. Yeah. We're almost there. All right, that ends our that ends our journey for this morning. Again, this was Hickory Canyons Natural Area. It's in St. Genevieve County, kind of in between St. Genevieve and Farmington, off Highway C, which connects to Highway 32, perfectly in between St. Genevieve and Farmington, near Han State Park. Definitely worth checking out if. If the waterfall is uh, going, there's another half mile trail on this side, huh? Well, I'm not gonna do it. I'm wore out. I need to stop and get a Gatorade after that. Uh, yeah, enough walking for one morning. I get I'm getting ready to go way to my favorite river one more time tomorrow we're going to be doing the mississippi river and then friday the coal mines fishing the strip pit there's a half mile trail over here i'm not going to do it that's the main one it says half mile trail i don't want to i'm too thirsty and hot Whew.